Hallo daar en welkom bij een nieuwe video van Soja Taal. In this video we are going to learn how to read the clock. Hoe laat is het? Is a question you can answer perfectly after watching this video. As in every other country, we also have a round clock that goes from 1 to 12. For reading the time, there are a couple important words we need to know. Let's have a look at these words. Een uur, drie uur, een half uur, een kwartier, drie kwartier, een minuut, drie minuten, een seconde, drie seconden. As you can see, uur and kwartier don't get a plural form in combination with a number. To explain the clock, I will divide it up in four sections. We have a section called over, voor half, over half, and voor. Let's say it's 8 o'clock in the morning. We then say 8 uur. We use the word uur only for a full hour. Now let's constantly change the minute hand with 5 minutes and see what happens. 5 minuten over 8. As you can see here, I don't use uur. Minuten is optional. It's also fine to keep it short and say 5 over 8. In everyday Dutch, people usually try to keep it short. Therefore, we will continue that way too. 10 over 8. Kwart over 8. 10 voor half 9. In de voor half part, we count the minutes to the half hour. 5 voor half 9. Half 9. And other than in English, at the half of the hour, we count the hour that's going to come. So 8.30 is half 9. Because we're halfway to the ninth hour. 5 over half 9. In the over half part, we count the minutes that are past half. 10 over half 9, kwart voor 9, 10 voor 9, and then in the voor part we count the minutes to the next hour, 5 voor 9, and then we have a full hour again, so we say 9 uur. Now how about am and pm? In Dutch we write a 24 hour clock, but we speak a 12 hour clock. So, for example, if it's 8.10 p.m., we write 20.10, but we will just say 10 over 8, so we don't say 10 over 20. Then, how do you know if it's morning or evening or afternoon or night? Well, usually you get this by context, but you can also say het is 10 over 8 in de avond, 8.10 p.m. Or you can say 10 over 8 s'avonds. Let's have a look at other times of the day and then we get in the ochtend or sochtends, in the middag or smiddags, in the avond or savonds, in the nacht or snachts. Both variants are fine to use, although I prefer sochtends because it's smoother to pronounce. So, if we have these three times and I ask you the question, hoe laat is het? Then you can answer with het is plus time, which means it is plus time. So, for example, for the first one, het is kwart voor elf. And then for the second and the third one, I ask you, hoe laat is het? Write your answers down in the comments. If you want more exercises, you can become a SOCIA member. Alright, that's it for clock times in Dutch. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something new. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any video. Keep practicing Dutch and as I always say, tot de volgende keer!